I set the time zone! Ever feel like your legs and feet are living in a different time zone? Numbness, tingling, the dreaded winter chill, these circulation struggles can be a real drag. But hold on, because the answer to your woes might be closer than you think. Spoiler alert, it's not magic socks. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Your body is a complex network, and the food you eat acts like fuel for that network. So, what if we told you there are everyday heroes hiding in your fridge and pantry, waiting to supercharge your circulation and bring those tingly toes back to life? Intrigued? We thought so. Today, we're ditching the doctor's visit and diving headfirst into your kitchen to unveil the top 12 circulation-boosting powerhouses. Whether you're an athlete seeking peak performance or simply want to keep those toes toasty warm, stick around for a delicious and informative adventure. We're about to reveal the secret weapons hiding in plain sight, everyday foods that can transform your legs and feet into circulation champions. So, ditch the worries and get ready to feel the tingle of improved blood flow, all thanks to a grocery store expedition. Number 1. Garlic Oh, my favorite! For centuries, garlic has been a hero in kitchens around the world, adding a flavor punch to our dishes. But it turns out, this humble bulb packs a serious health punch too. Today, we're focusing on its incredible power to improve blood flow, especially to those often neglected legs and feet. Let's crack open the secret weapon. Allison. This powerful compound is released when you chop or crush garlic, and it works like magic on your blood vessels. Imagine Allison as a tiny road crew, widening those pathways and making your blood less sticky. This translates to fewer traffic jams and better circulation, ensuring that precious blood reaches every corner of your body, including your trusty toes. Garlic is also a champion for your heart health, helping to lower blood pressure and bad cholesterol. Plus, it's a powerhouse of antioxidants that fight off damaging free radicals, keeping you feeling good all around. So, how much garlic do you need to become a circulation champion? Aim for one to the cloves per day. Think of it as adding a little pep to your step literally. You can add it to sauces, salad dressings, marinades, or even sprinkle it on your favorite dishes. Just remember, heat can deactivate Allison, so add your garlic towards the end of cooking to maximize its benefits. There you have it. Garlic a small but mighty ingredient with the power to keep your blood flowing smoothly and your legs feeling fantastic. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Stay tuned as we explore more delicious ways to supercharge your circulation and get those legs moving again. Number 2. Turmeric My favorite. Ever dreamt of adding a little fire to your legs and feet? Feeling that frosty creep creeping up, making your toes feel like icicles? Well, what if we told you the key to better circulation might be hiding in your spice rack? stalling to add some serious heat figuratively, of course. To your life? We're talking about turmeric, the golden spice of life, revered for its medicinal properties for millennia. But what makes this vibrant root so magical? The secret lies within a powerful compound called curcumin. Think of it as a tiny warrior, wielding anti-inflammatory and antioxidant superpowers. Here's how curcumin helps your circulation. Take the heat. Over time, inflammation can damage your blood vessels, leading to sluggish blood flow and those dreaded chills in your legs and feet. But curcumin, the anti-inflammatory champion, steps in reducing that inflammation and allowing blood to flow freely, bringing warmth and feeling back to those neglected areas. But curcumin doesn't stop there. This golden warrior also acts like a personal trainer for your blood vessels, helping them function optimally. Studies have shown that curcumin can enhance blood vessel dilation, which means more space for blood to flow smoothly. This translates to better circulation throughout your body, including those previously frostbitten toes. Turmeric's antioxidant properties help fight off damaging free radicals, potentially reducing your risk of chronic diseases. It can even be your digestive system's best friend and might even offer some potential anti-cancer properties. So. How much golden magic do you need for optimal blood flow? Aim for 500 to 2000 milligrams of turmeric per day. But here's the secret ingredient to maximize its power, black pepper. The piperine in black pepper acts like a booster shot, increasing curcumin absorption by a whopping 2000%. Add turmeric to your curries, soups, smoothies, or even whip up a delicious turmeric tea. A dash of this golden spice might just be the secret weapon you need to improve circulation in your legs and feet 
leaving them feeling warm, tingly, and ready to take on the day. Number three, berries. Oh, that's my favorite. Next, we're talking about berries, those juicy powerhouses that are as delicious as they are good for you. But did you know they can also be your circulation's best friend? The secret weapon lies within their high content of flavonoids, a special type of antioxidant. Think of flavonoids as tiny cheerleaders, pumping up your body's production of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is like a VIP pass for your blood vessels, allowing them to relax and open wide, creating a smooth highway for blood to flow freely. And guess what? This enhanced circulation reaches all parts of your body including those previously neglected toes. But the berry benefits keep on rolling. These little bursts of flavor are packed with antioxidants that fight off damaging free radicals, potentially lowering your risk of chronic diseases. They're also high in fiber for a happy digestive system, and they're a fantastic source of vitamins and minerals to keep you feeling your best. So, how much berry power do you need? Aim for one or two servings a day about a cup of fresh berries. You can enjoy them fresh, add them to your morning cereal or yogurt, blend them into a delicious smoothie, or even use them in baking. In short, adding a pop of color to your plate with berries is a tasty and easy way to boost blood flow to your legs and feet. So ditch the buried treasure routine and embrace the berry blast for better circulation. Number 4 Fatty Fish Oh, that's one of my favorites. Ever stub your toe and feel like it takes forever for the feeling to come back? That's because sometimes, circulation struggles make our legs and feet feel like they're on a different time zone. No worries here, fellow foot feelers, because the key to better blood flow might be tastier than you think. Spoiler alert, it's not pizza. Think of your body as a complex network of highways. The food you eat acts like the fuel that keeps those highways running smoothly. So, what if we told you there are everyday superheroes lurking in your fridge, waiting to unclog those circulation pathways and get your toes tingling with renewed life? Fatty fish are swimming superstars like salmon, sardines, and tuna, are overflowing with omega-3 fatty acids the secret weapon for smoother blood flow. But how do these tiny warriors work their magic? Imagine your blood vessels as tiny roads. Omega-3s act like road crews, reducing inflammation and thinning the blood, so there's less chance of traffic jams and blockages. This smooths the way for blood to flow freely throughout your body, including your precious toes. But the benefits don't stop there. These fishy friends also help lower blood pressure and bad cholesterol, further promoting healthy circulation. On top of that, they're a powerhouse of heart health, brain function, and immunity. So. How much fishy fuel do you need? The American Heart Association recommends at least two servings per week. Think of a serving size like a deck of cards. Bake or grill them for maximum omega-3 goodness and ditch the frying. There you have it. Fatty Fish takes the pole position on our list of circulation boosting powerhouses. Stay tuned as we explore more delicious ways to get your blood flowing and your toes tapping again. Number five oranges. This one's my favorite. Next, we're talking about oranges those vibrant and zesty fruits famous for their vitamin C. But did you know this essential vitamin is also a circulation superstar? Think of vitamin C as the construction crew for your blood vessels. But oranges have another secret weapon, hesperidin. This special type of flavonoid acts like a traffic cop, improving blood vessel function and reducing inflammation. The result? Oranges are immune system champions thanks to their vitamin C+, they help protect your cells from damage and even boost iron absorption. They're also high in fiber for a happy digestive system, and packed with essential nutrients like potassium and B vitamins. So, how much orange sunshine do you need? Aim for one orange a day. Enjoy it fresh, slice it into salads, blend it into a smoothie, or whip up some delicious orange juice for breakfast. In short, oranges are a sweet and tangy way to add a vitamin C punch to your diet, boost your circulation, and keep your legs and feet feeling fantastic. So ditch the traffic jam and squeeze your way to better circulation with oranges. Let's raise a virtual glass to healthier legs and happier feet. Number 6. Dark Chocolate <laughs> It's my favorite. Feeling like your legs are on a chocolate-less diet? Sluggish? Tired and begging for a sweet treat? Well, what if we told you the key to better circulation might be hiding in your pantry? We're talking about dark chocolate, that delicious indulgence that turns out to be a circulation champion too. But we're not talking about your average milk chocolate bar here. Look for dark chocolate with at least 70% cocoa content. That's where the magic lies. Here's the delicious secret. 
Dark chocolate is packed with flavanols, plant warriors with antioxidant and anti-inflammatory superpowers. These flavanols work their magic on the lining of your arteries, stimulating them to produce nitric oxide. Remember nitric oxide? But the benefits don't stop at better circulation. Dark chocolate is an antioxidant powerhouse, fighting off free radicals that can damage your cells and potentially reduce your risk of chronic diseases. Plus, it's a treasure trove of essential minerals like iron, magnesium, copper, and manganese, all crucial for keeping your body running smoothly. Now, before you grab a whole bar, moderation is key. Dark chocolate might be delicious, but it's also calorie dense. To reap the health benefits without overdoing the calories, aim for one to two ounces per day. Enjoy it on its own as a treat, or get creative and add it to smoothies, desserts, or even savory dishes. Dark chocolate is living proof that delicious food can also be good for you. So, here's to indulging in a small piece of dark chocolate daily, keeping your blood flowing freely, and your taste buds happy. Number 7. Spinach Oh, number 7! Oh, that's my favorite! Feeling like your legs are lagging behind the rest of you? Ever dreamt of giving them a spinach-infused pep talk to get them moving? Well, what if we told you the answer might be hiding in your crisper drawer, anticipating to be Popeye-powered? We're talking about spinach, the leafy green that's been a symbol of strength for generations. And it turns out, there's a reason for that. Spinach is packed with nitrates, which your body converts into nitric oxide. Remember our earlier friend? Nitric oxide acts like a magic key, unlocking and widening your blood vessels. But spinach is more than just a nitric oxide factory. It's a vitamin and mineral powerhouse, loaded with vitamins A, C, and K, along with magnesium and iron. These nutrients work together like a superhero team, keeping your whole body healthy and strong. Plus, spinach is an antioxidant champion, shielding your cells from damage and reducing inflammation. And let's not forget that all-important fiber for happy digestion and weight management. So, how much spinach do you need to become a circulation champion? Aim for at least one serving a day. One cup of cooked spinach or two cups raw will do the trick. The beauty of spinach is its versatility. Toss it in salads, saw it as a side dish, blend it into a smoothie, or sneak it into soups and stews. So ditch the sluggishness and embrace the Popeye power. Let's get leafy with spinach and keep those legs moving and grooving. Number 8. Ginger my favorite <laughs> ever feel like your legs are about as exciting as a bland cracker tingling numb and begging for a little something something well ditch the boring and embrace the fiery friend hiding in your pantry that can add some serious spice figuratively of course to your circulation we're talking about ginger that root with a history as long as its list of health benefits ginger packs a punch with a compound called gingerol which acts like a tiny firefighter taming inflammation in your blood vessels. But ginger doesn't stop there. It also throws a wrench in the plans of troublemaking blood clots. Ginger oil can help keep your platelets less sticky, further promoting smooth blood flow throughout your body. Ginger is famous for soothing upset stomachs and battling nausea, but it can also be a pain reliever and might even help lower blood sugar and cholesterol. So, how much ginger do you need to feel the heat? Just a little goes a long way. Aim for 1-2 grams of ginger a day. Fresh, dried, powdered. It's your call. You can add it to dishes, blend it into a smoothie, or even whip up a warming cup of ginger tea. So, there you have it. Ginger, with its spicy kick and warming properties, isn't just a flavor booster, it's a fantastic way to promote better circulation in your legs and feet. Remember, good things really do come in small packages, and this little root packs a powerful punch. Number 9. Celery. Ever feel like your legs are as limp and floppy as a celery stick after a spin cycle? Numbness, tingling, and a desperate need for some pep in your step. Well, what if we told you the key to better circulation might be hiding in your crisper drawer, expecting to be rediscovered? We're talking about celery, that humble veggie often relegated to the side of the plate. But believe it or not, celery is a circulation superstar. Here's why. It's packed with nitrates just like spinach. Remember how nitrates convert into nitric oxide, that blood vessel widening wonder. But celery doesn't stop at being a nitrate ninja. It also contains a unique compound called NBP short for 3N-butyl phthalide, 
but NBP is way easier to say. This NBP works its magic by relaxing the walls of your arteries, essentially creating more space for blood to flow smoothly. Think of it as a traffic jam being cleared, allowing cars' blood to zoom on through. Celery is a vitamin and mineral powerhouse, with plenty of vitamin K for healthy blood clotting and strong bones. It's also bursting with antioxidants to keep your cells safe from damage, and the high fiber content keeps your digestion happy and your weight in check. So, how much celery do you need to become a circulation champion? Aim for 4 to 5 medium stocks a day. You can add it to salads, stir fries, soups, or even enjoy it as a snack with your favorite dip. In short, celery is a crunchy and refreshing veggie that does double duty, adding flavor to your meals and boosting circulation in your legs and feet. Don't underestimate this unsung hero. It's a true powerhouse for your health. So ditch the limp legs and embrace the celery-powered crunch. Number 10 Pomegranates That's my favorite. Ever feel like your legs look more like tired courtiers than vibrant royalty? Tingling, achy, and begging for a circulation refresh? We're talking about pomegranates, those jewel-toned fruits packed with more health benefits than a royal banquet. But today, we're focusing on their power to transform your circulation. Pomegranates are bursting with polyphenol antioxidants, like tiny royal guards protecting the lining of your blood vessels. These antioxidants help your vessels relax and widen, creating a smoother pathway for blood to flow freely, all the way to your neglected legs and feet. But pomegranates aren't just about relaxation. They also help to lower blood pressure and fight against plaque buildup in your arteries, further promoting smooth blood flow throughout your body. Think of it as clearing out the royal carriage pads so everything runs smoothly. They can boost your exercise performance, perfect for those who want to feel truly royal and energized. So, how much pomegranate power do you need? Aim for one cup of seeds or eight ounces of juice a day. Enjoy the seeds on their own, Add them to salads or yogurt, or blend them into a delicious smoothie. In short, pomegranates are a feast for the eyes and a boon for your circulation, especially in your legs and feet. Let's get your circulation flowing royally. Number 11 Beats That's my favorite one. <laughs> Ever feel like your legs have run a marathon they didn't sign up for? Tingling, sluggish, and desperate for a circulation pick-me-up? Well, what if we told you the answer might be hiding in your fridge? biding your time to be rediscovered, and it's not a fancy pair of running shoes. We're talking about beets, those vibrant root vegetables with a surprising secret weapon for your circulation, dietary nitrates. Remember how nitrates turn into nitric oxide, the blood vessel widening wonder? Well, beets are packed with it, helping blood flow freely to all parts of your body, especially those neglected legs and feet. But beets don't stop at being nitrate ninjas. Studies show they can even lower blood pressure, with some people experiencing a dip just hours after drinking beetroot juice. Lower blood pressure translates to better overall circulation, so it's a win-win. Beets are a treasure trove of essential vitamins and minerals like potassium, vitamin C, and iron. They're also antioxidant warriors, fighting inflammation and keeping your cells healthy. Plus, the high fiber content keeps your digestion happy. So, how much beet power do you need? Aim for 1-2 cups of cooked beets or beetroot juice a week. Enjoy them in salads, soups, or even whipped into a juice. Just remember, cooking can reduce their nitrates, so steaming or roasting is best. In short, beets are a root cause worth celebrating. They're a delicious and powerful way to boost circulation in your legs and feet. Ditch the sluggishness and embrace the vibrant beet power. Let's get those legs moving and grooving again. Number 12 Walnuts that's my favorite. Last, we're talking about walnuts, those humble but mighty powerhouses of the pantry. Don't let their unassuming appearance fool you. These little guys are packed with alpha-linolenic acid ALA, a type of omega-3 fatty acid that works wonders on your blood flow. Just like their omega-3 cousins in fatty fish, ALA helps reduce inflammation in blood vessels and keeps your blood nice and thin. Think of it as clearing traffic jams and smoothing out the highway for better blood flow, especially down to those neglected toes. But walnuts don't stop there. They're also bursting with L-arginine, an amino acid that converts into nitric oxide in your body. Now, this nitric oxide is like a VIP pass for your blood vessels, allowing them to relax and expand. This translates to even better circulation, ensuring your legs get the blood flow they need to feel fantastic again. 
Walnuts are antioxidant champions, protecting your cells from damage. They're high in fiber for a happy digestive system, and they're a fantastic source of magnesium and copper, essential for all sorts of bodily functions. So, how much nutty goodness do you need for optimal blood flow? Aim for a handful a day about a quarter to a half cup. Snack on them plain, sprinkle them on your salad, or even blend them into a smoothie for a delicious and nutritious boost. Stay tuned as we explore even more delicious ways to get your blood flowing and your legs feeling happy again. Remember, these 12 fantastic foods are just one piece of the puzzle. For a truly holistic approach to health, combine them with a balanced diet regular exercise, and routine checkups with your doctor. It's all about building a strong foundation for a healthier you, one delicious meal and one step at a time. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your favorite recipes that incorporate these circulation-boosting ingredients? Share your culinary creations in the comments below, and let's inspire each other on our journey to better health. Next, don't hesitate to explore our Circulation Club playlist for more valuable content on the left. Feel free to share your health journey in the comments section below, as we believe in learning from one another's experiences. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, I extend my best wishes for your continued health, wealth, and happiness. Remember, the key to vitality is in your hands, 